Hey guys and welcome back to um my Pokemon hacking tutorials. So in this one we're gonna be um using UNLZ.GBA that's how I'm going to refer to it. I can't be bothered to try and say it properly. Okay, so you're gonna wanna first go to where you saved it. You wanna open it up, open file, and find your file. That's fine. First time it'll say looking for compressed data, but I've already done this. So I think I'm gonna show you how to uh, change. Um Let's do the you know the game freak thing that comes across at the start. Let's just edit that. So let's go to two ten. Go to there's the text we've got. So you want to press plus to get to game freak like that. Let's click use black and white as I like just using that. Or you could as you wanted just do that. But I like actually no. Let's save it as okay. Click save as and click where you want to save it. I'm just gonna save it as um, game freak. The game freak text. Save and then you want to go open Paint and MS Paint. Most computers should have it. There we are. File open. Now we want to open. Uh, go to where it is. Documents. Click right now. Videos. Video tutorial. Um, it's in here. Game Freak. Okay. So zoom in. There we are. And now, firstly, you will first just pick your first colors pick your two colors you've got and um, put them down here if you exported it in this color mode I think I believe red will be um the white and the orange will be a slightly darker gray so now you want to get the blue get your brush um, and just basically get rid of game freak yeah okay now the way I do this is I'm gonna get my red I get a line get my line tool let's write um uh, Pokemon hack, yeah, pretty easy. So just give out a basic one like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not gonna do mine perfect, but this will be on the front of the hack. This could be as complicated or as easy as you want. Oops. Right, um, so as I use my tutorials, I'm just gonna offer you very helpful things. Helpful thing number one for using paint remember your shortcuts okay give you a couple now control z is undo and control y is redo if in case you undo too much okay so that's just really ones you're going to want to learn so pokemon so this i won't do it very well just to do a quick thing here um, M, no. Yeah, so, um, Owens GBA is pretty sim, um, well, it's not simple to use, I wouldn't say. But, um, it can be a pain sometimes, I just want to say that. Pokemon, and then we're going to get on here, do K here. Um, C, some. Just basically, you want to do it like this. Pretty simple to do, so it doesn't take much effort. A there, H. Okay, this isn't perfect, as I've said. Just a quick one to show you, okay? Pokemon hack. Yeah, there's a big space in the middle. We can just do a squiggly here. Let's just get, like, a smiley face. Yeah, just put a smiley face in there. Uh huh, that'll do. Okay, I just fix this up. Okay, so now, obviously, once you do this, you're going to want to save it. Uh huh. Yep, done there. Pokemon hack. You might want to get rid of these two down here. Actually, no. Before saving it, do Control Z. You want to pick up this orange of colory thingy, yeah, and you want to add it where shadows might be. Don't put it everywhere. Just put it in a couple corners. I haven't done this for my prof one. I'm just trying it out now might come out completely wrong, might come out very well. You can only try. Owens GBA has some faults, I just want to say that. Some things don't work on it all the time. You might find that a bit annoying. I do sometimes. The amount of times I'm trying to get things to work. It's just annoying. But don't give up, just because of that. But keep pushing on. 
my voice is getting up and down and I for you. I'm like a solicitor. Okay. Let's just add a couple more in. Yeah, that'll do. One there. Okay, there. A couple on N. Just add a face and eye. Okay. Yep, that looks pretty okay, I suppose. Yep. Okay, yep. Pokemon hat. Let's just save that. File. Oops. Now we want to get rid of your lose file save. Exit that. And then we want to click import under save as. And we'll click game freak. Obviously we're on. So you've got Pokemon hack there. Okay. And then we'll click right to ROM. Okay. Leave this alone for the moment. Click OK. And it's worked. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is previous. Or next. Is it previous or next? Okay. On from one from that. 211 is you've got this logo here this is the Game Freak logo that appears behind it okay if you click use black and white you get this black and white one which isn't too good so I'm going to click save as again I'm going to save it as logo I click save you want to go open paint again and we'll click file open again There we go. There we are. Okay. So you wanna just zoom in as far as you can on here. So I think this yellow one here is your main yellow, and then um I think light blue might be white. So once again, just put a little kind of palette thing in the bottom, because just in case you lose your colours, and just select this and once again get rid of it. Okay. You can change this to whatever you want. You can even put a Pokemon sprite in there. I'm just gonna get my yellow here. Um, let's just draw. What should we draw? Pokemon, Pokemon. Let's draw a Pokemon ball, okay? This is going to be pretty simple to do. I'm not going to spend much time on it. Obviously, you're going to want to if you've got your hack. I'm just going to control the here. I'm a perfectionist, even though I don't want to spend much time on it. I know, it might take a while. Looks alright, I suppose. Not too good. Maybe like that. Kind of. Okay, it doesn't really look much like a Pokeball, does it? No. Let's put these things in. There we are, it makes it look... Yes! Sorry. <laughs> okay, just talking to someone else. Okay! Right, I'm just going to pause this and be back with you soon. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just have to go do something. Okay, so we've got our basic shape. Just finish that up there. Obviously, this isn't a very good drawing. I could do much better. Just to catch up with a little bit of this. Yeah, you might want to spend a while on this. I would. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I would personally um, put a uh, Pokemon sprite in or something. But I'm not sure. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's just do a little design on the inside, actually. Let's just do that. Okay. Let's just do that. Okay. Now we've got our design. Uh, we want to fill in the bits. We want to get our um, kind of purpley thingy. Let's fill in that. That bit. That. Um, that bit as well. Actually, no. Do that. Yeah. And then the bit you want white. Or assume it's white. Just have to see. You can experiment with colours here. You're probably restricted to a palette. So explain what palettes are there are set um depends kind of what size it is you've got a different type of palette you've got a 256 256 palette also got a uh there we are i think i'll leave it like that yeah looks all right i suppose then, yeah. okay that's just going to do for now i can't be um make the order to do everything else okay so save that move that up import Import the one you just got rid of. Yep. Right to ROM. Okay. It's worked. Minimize that. Minimize that. Open up Visual Boy Advance. Now your file open. And open your ROM. Now we'll just see if this works. File. Sorry, it's frozen. There we are. Oh, it's auto loaded. Um, don't auto load. So. 
it's not auto loading so reopen that so you can see the start of it got it on auto load right let's see if this works and there's our text pokemon hack see that was a bit yellow and there's our logo it's a bit high up but still anyway so uh that's pretty much it yeah so uh thanks for watching this tutorial that's basically how to just do the basic unlz.gba um the next video i'm not sure what's going to be on i think it might be the start scripting so um yeah i'll